Hi friends, it's Miss Val here. I missed you all so much, I thought that I would record myself telling you all a lovely story. You know, I have this really magical storybook here with me and it's one of my favorites. It's called Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I don't know if any of you have seen the movies or maybe read this book before, but there's something really special about this storybook. So I'm so excited to share it with you that we're just gonna jump right in, all right? Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Whoa. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister and having nothing to do. Once or twice, she peeped at the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures in it. And what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without any pictures? Then suddenly, a white rabbit appeared. I'm late, I'm late, he said to himself, looking at the watch on his waistcoat pocket. Alice was shocked. She began to chase after him. She had never seen a talking rabbit wearing clothes before. So she ran and followed him right down into this rabbit hole. And down she fell. <sighs> down, 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 Alice fell for such a long time. And by the time she reached the bottom of the hole, she lost sight of the white rabbit. Instead, she found some mysterious treats. A little cake and a little drink. And once she ate them, she began to grow and shrink. Alice was so startled by all of this growing and shrinking that she began to cry. She ended up taking a swim in her a pool made of her own tears. How silly. Finally, Alice saw the white rabbit once more. When the rabbit noticed Alice, he pointed and said, you there, run home this moment and fetch me a pair of gloves and a fan. Alice was so surprised by this, she ran off right in the direction that the white rabbit was pointing. Alice came upon a lovely little house she stepped inside and immediately noticed more mysterious treats, so she took a bite of one. That doesn't sound like a very good idea to me. Instantly, she began to grow and grow until she was so large that her legs and arms stuck out of the house. Finally, Alice began to take another bite of another mysterious cookie. Seriously, stop eating cookies that you don't know where they're from. Like, they could end up like this. <sighs> but this time, when she took a bite of the mysterious cookie, she shrunk down so small that she was the size of a tiny, tiny ant. She was so startled, she ran off far away from the house. She ran and ran until she came across a blue caterpillar sitting on a mushroom. She had a very silly conversation with this caterpillar. And then when she was all done, she said goodbye and continued on her journey. From there, Alice's adventure grew even stranger. She came across a table in a garden that was set for a tea party. See the tea party? And at the table sat a March Hare, a sleepy Dormouse, and a Mad Hatter. Alice sat to join them for tea, but was quickly irritated by the antics of her counterparts. Nothing they were saying made any sense at all to poor Alice. They spoke of a dreadful Queen of Hearts who sounded awfully scary. So Alice decided to leave the party. She stood up and wandered away. Did Alice look very happy? I don't know if you can see her very well, but she looks pretty cranky to me. Alice wandered and wandered until she came across a funny little man standing by a white rose bush. He was painting the roses on the bush with red paint. 
<laughs> you, sir, would you tell me please why you are painting the roses red? Alice asked. But before the man could answer, the Queen of Hearts arrived. She looked very scary. The Queen of Hearts invited Alice to play a strange game of croquet, which was not fun at all. It does not look like Alice is having fun playing croquet there. <sighs> so she decided that she had had quite enough of this adventure. She turned to the queen and said, you are nothing but a pack of cards. And with that, the whole pack of cards rose up into the air and came flying down all around Alice. See? Alice closed her eyes and tried to brush the cards away. And when she opened her eyes, she saw that her sister was gently brushing away some leaves that had fluttered down upon her face. Wake up, Alice dear, you've had such a long nap, her sister said. Alice sat up and said, oh, I've had such a curious dream. Then they went home safe and sound. And Alice told her sister all about her dream of her adventures in Wonderland. The end. So that was Alice in Wonderland. I just want to say again that I miss you guys so much. And I really hope that we get to go back to school so soon so that I can see all of you and we can play games and have more circle times. But for now, hopefully I'll get to read you guys another story. And I hope you guys liked that one. So I will talk to you all soon. Mwah. I miss you. Bye, guys.